So this is the story of Ananda. Ananda is the number one disciple of Lord Buddha. He is one of the oldest disciple and one of the most longest standing disciple of Lord Buddha. Okay, he joined uh, Lord Buddha many, many years ago and has been traveled and all that. Okay, so one day what happens is he is crying. His, his face is red and what happens is he comes and uh, me sees many disciples and uh, many disciples ask him, uh, Ananda, Guruji, what happened? Uh, why are you like that? Uh, I, why do you look like that? So Ananda says, I'm frightened. I am really frightened. So uh, everybody will ask uh, Ananda, Ananda, why, why are you so frightened? Uh, Ananda says, I am not frightened. He says, I am not frightened because I had a dream. I had a dream. I am not frightened because of that, but I am frightened because of something else. So what is it? What, what is it? Everybody will be curiously asking. They said, and Ananda says, uh, I, 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 I've died and I've gone to the this thing and I've gone to the heaven and uh, I'm entering the heaven and they are doing my accounts and they're asking me, why, why couldn't you be a Buddha? Why couldn't you become a Buddha and who helped many slaves become free? Why couldn't you become a Buddha and help many people become free? But that is not is what frightened me. That is not frightened me. That is not the one which scares me the most. Everybody is like puzzled. What is this? Why is he this thing? Okay, then what is what is uh, frightening you? Tell, come and tell me. Come, tell us, tell us, tell us. Uh, he is still having tears. His face is red. Aranda and uh, so the second time he says, uh, there is a there is a king called Harshvardhan, one of the uh, biggest kings of that time. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, so the this thing, the angels and all that in the uh, in the heaven will ask him why you couldn't be Harshvardhan, like the noble king who made everybody very prosperous, who made everybody very prosperous. Why couldn't you be? So are you frightened of that? No, no, no. I'm not frightened of that. Huh? You're not frightened of being a Buddha. You're not frightened of being a uh, this thing, uh, Harsh, the king Harshwardhan, the royal king, the noble king. And then what are you frightened of? And this is the one which frightened me the most. This is the frightened. And this is what, when at the heaven, I was asked by all the holy angels and all the other things, that why you couldn't be Anand? Why you couldn't be the Ananda? That is the one which frightens me and I'm crying for that. So this is a deep story. Let's see how many of you got it. Let's understand. What Coach, does it mean? Yeah. Coach, it means that uh, it doesn't ha doesn't mean that you have to follow every single leader. Following the leader is a good thing, but becoming you for you is the best, the most hardest thing that you'll ever find to do. Finding your values and working for your values itself, your values only, is the hardest thing that you could do. Nice, very interesting. Wonderful, Yukta. We should not uh, be frightened. We should not be frightened. Very nice. Wonderful. Coach. Yeah? Coach, this is Siddhi. I want to tell you that Whatever is in your whatever is in your heart, what whatever it is, just just tell it. Because if you don't tell, uh, then the more then more troubles will uh, will cause in the future. So if you want to save your future, you must say it. Whatever is in your heart, whatever you're frightened of, whatever you're happy for. Okay, great. Any other answers? Any other sharings?
Why was he frightened the most and why was he crying? Because of the question which they asked, why you couldn't be Anna? That was the one which bothered Not when he was compared with anybody, not when he was compared with uh, Lord Buddha and compared with uh, the king, the Nobel King Harshwardhan. So what was that he was crying? Why, Ananda, you could not be the Ananda? Coach. Yes. Coach, following, like, following the leader is a good thing, but being you is the most hardest thing. So the God, the angels asked him, why couldn't you be Ananda when he was like, his name was Ananda, right? So like it's follow your values and go according to your values. You doesn't, you don't have to always go according to someone else's value. You don't have to always follow the leader. Okay, great. So I have a question for you. So one day when you will be also at the heaven, at the mm -hmm. gates, Asked Yukta, were you really Yukta? What do you think? The answer you'll be able to give. So, this is a question for all of you. Yes, this is a question for all of you. When you are in the heaven and uh, the question is asked, Siddhi, were you really Siddhi? Riti, were you really Riti? So, this is a question for all of you. Yash Yogid, were you really Yash and Yogid? Ajit? Were you really Ajit? So that's the question. So Yukta, I'm asking you. Are you really living up to Yukta? Yes, Yukta, what do you have to say? Not sure, coach. How, why you're not sure? Are you living up to your values? So this is not just a question for her. It's a question for everybody. So Yukta, I know you're quite sure about it. If you're not sure, how will you be not sure? You have to be sure about it. You will know. Whether you are up to the living your values, you're living up to your mark. This is not for just Yukta, for everybody. That is the biggest frightening question is, are you living up to your own potential? Are you living up to your own mark? Are you living up to your complete potential? Isn't it Ajit? Are you living up to be really Ajit? Riti, are you living up to be the uh, Riti to the hundred percent what you are supposed to be? Riti, I'm asking you, what are you living up to hundred percent to be a Riti? Ajit, what do you want to answer? Coach, like yeah. the yes. Buddha become famous and uh, so a couple of people named you told me to become famous because they are following the values. They did not focus on other things. So that's why they called us Buddha. That's why they called us uh, the king name. So you just following it of following is good, but you have certain values. Why don't you can stand for it? So for example, waking up early in the morning is my value, then do it. I teach others. So that's what that's my question to you. Are you living are, are you living as Ajit? Yes, coach. Okay, great, lovely. Hundred percent? Not hundred percent. I'm going to do it. I'm working on it. So the answer again is either it's yes or no. So work on that. That's the most important question. One day you will all face that one question. That did you live up to your 100% potential? Did you give your 100% potential? Uh, whatever gifts and all that you got, 
did you make that particular impact or not? Isn't it? That's a question I'll be also asked. You'll be also asked. So see that. That's the most important. So today I'm leaving you all with this wonderful question. I've almost reached. Uh, good to be back to back home, back to Chennai. And uh, so please remember, did you are you living up to yourself? Living up to your values? Living up to your potential? Living up to your talents? If not, you can't blame anybody. You have to work on yourself. So you think your answer is still not sure or yes or no? No, coach, I'm not. So figure out what is stopping you. Thank you, everybody. Once again, a wonderful story which makes us thought leader, which makes us think very deeply, makes us think, make us become very better, makes us much better. Wonderful. Have a great time. Thank you so much. Over to Ajit Coach. Ajit? Yeah. Wonderful. Let's do Vajrashan. Again, Mudra. Eyes close. Focus on a breathing. Wonderful. Then get started with the other next breathing. Wonderful. Let's start with wave breathing. Three count. Hum. Let's start, Rajaisa, twenty count. Let's start. Wonderful. Then we started with current foot. Hand cross. Start thank you. Thank you so much for being an awesome and amazing person, wonderful soul, and so many more. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We can you thank all your internal parts of your body? Thank you, thank you, thank you, heart, thank you, liver, thank you, baby. All my internal body, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We can you thank all our external part of body? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, my all the external part of body, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I can to thank the two lovely souls in life, mom and dad. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. You guys are a pillar of support. And whatever I'm doing right now, all because you guys are doing the wonderful freedom and you do whatever I want. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. 
I want to thank my family member, thank you, Shani, for being in my life and making me everyday's wonderful with lots of love and support, caring, and thank you, thank you so much. I want to thank all your family member, thank you, my family member, for supporting me directly and directly. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I want to thank you know, like gurus, coaches, teachers, mentor from kindergarten until now. I have to gratitude to all my teachers, gurus, coaches, mentors. You guys have made me whatever I'm right now. Thank you so much and with a lot of gratitude. I got to thank the Mother Nature. Mother Nature, kind pleasure, you give me plenty. And continuously is giving me plenty in my life. Thank you, Mother Nature. Thank you so much. And continue to thank ultimate power, the universe, the Almighty. Thank you, universe. Thank you so much. And I feel gratitude. You give me plenty and abundance in my life. Whatever I need in terms of health, wealth, happiness, relationship, money, and opportunity and success and courageous and whatever I need. You given me plenty and continuously giving me plenty. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for giving me abundance and prosperity and health, wealth in my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I got to visualize the crystal clear bright white light is coming from the universe. This bright white light completely can heal you and energize you for the next 24 hours. Visualize the bright white light is getting into the middle of your head. From head to toe, toe to head is spreading like a water. It's in every single cell in your body. So wherever the bright white light is traveling in your entire body, the entire body getting healed and energized from head to toe and toe to head. Thank you, thank you, bright white light. Now, with this power of state, just visualize your goal. Wonderful. Now, so you just go with your hand and keep your hands in the heart and repeat after me. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm courageous. I'm, courageous. I'm, powerful. I'm powerful. I'm abundant. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm prosperity. prosperity. I'm lovable. I'm capable. I'm valuable. And I'm a superhuman. Yes, sir. I just have one, two, three. Keep your arm rest in your eyes and eye muscles. Number one. So you open your eyes and see the world is more bright. Have a morning, guys. Good to see you. Thanks. See you have a great day. We are supposed to ask. Bye, coach. Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Sachin, and I am a life coach. I use games, activities, and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills, which help them become number one in studies and number one in life. Continue to watch our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel, and please do comment. It'll help us and inspire us to make more good content like this. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Also, do visit our website. Thank you so much.